We come to school to study and to show off, but teachers don't support our striving for beauty and forbid any makeup in class. So we figured out new ways of how to sneak makeup into class. My neighbor needs glue. She takes my stick, but it doesn't work. Certainly not, because there's nail polish hidden in it. Remove the bolt screw from an empty glue stick and take out the central plastic stick. Hot glue the bolt screw back and put a nail polish bottle into the empty glue stick container. No one will suspect there is makeup hidden in regular paper glue. Right till the moment when the teacher needs the glue. Oops, now that's a fail. Miss Smith, you are supposed to have your personal glue. Stop borrowing school supplies from your students. I need to erase a pencil and take an eraser. But it's makeup again. This time, it's eyeshadow inside. Hot glue a pink foam rubber sheet to the top and bottom of a square eyeshadow container. Attach two pink strips to the sides too. To the lid in the box separately. Leave the hinged elements uncovered and make a cut so that the box opens easily. Hot glue a strip of a green foam rubber sheet to the middle. Don't forget to make a cut where the box opens. Make an inscription on the eraser with a black marker. You can only remove traces of fatigue near your eyes with this eraser, but here comes Miss Smith with all her seeing glasses out of thin air. We pretend to her that we are studying hard, but she takes our beauty eraser anyway. Bingo! It's a break at last, but Miss Smith's never going to rest. She creeps to our desk and finds a stash in a water bottle. You can hide any makeup that fits in my bottle. Close the lid and put on the case. Miss Smith takes out all of our makeup and puts real stationery inside. We come back after a break, but all of our makeup has magically turned into school supplies. Apparently, it's been the teacher. We have to pacify her so that she'll give us our makeup back. We're all stress prone when at school. The stress affects my skin, making it dry. I take my cream and spread it over my hands during the class. Miss Miss Alert, she sneaks to grab my properties. Look at my friend, she's pouring her white glue straight on her hands. She seems to have suffered from the stress more than me. Squeeze hand cream into a clean glue bottle. Put on the top. Done! My friend offers me to try her glue cream. I don't think I should. Unlike Miss Smith, she applies the cream paying no attention to what others think. You'd better moisturize your dry heart, Miss Smith. My friend wants to correct her brow shape during class. You'll certainly have a problem studying math if you have messy eyebrows. I've got a makeup notebook just for the case. We'll need bright paper and cardboard details of the cover. Place two cardboard covers and a spine on the paper. Cut out a bit beyond the edge. Snip off the corners. Attach the paper to the cardboard. Cover the inside of the cardboard with scrapbook paper. Mark off the base size. Cut out and attach to the cover. Fold a pile of color paper in half along the length. Cut them out. Fold up the pages and stitch the crease. Make a few of the same details. Cut the pages to align the edge. Pass a ribbon through the stitches. Mark the place to fasten the pages to the spine. Pierce two holes using an awl. Pass the ribbon through the holes. Tie two bows. Embellish the notebook with stickers. Hot glue a little mirror to the inside of the cover. Attach a short piece of rubber band. Hot glue the middle to get a makeup supply holder. I take tweezers out of the notebook and give it to my friend. However, Miss Smith can smell the beauty. She takes away the mirror. Then I give my notebook to my friend. She'll be able to look at the mirror during class. And everyone will think she's reading her notes. Miss Smith takes the tweezers as well. Is she going to turn the teacher's room into a beauty salon? She certainly is. 
She's having a date with the PE teacher tonight. It's time to get ready, so she carefully removes unwanted eyebrows as well as upper lip hair. My friend wants to erase her pencil and takes my eraser. Stop it! It's not an ordinary eraser. It's a makeup holder. Cut out a square middle in the eraser. Work on the cutout to make it flat. Crush broken eyeshadow into powder. Transfer it into the eraser hole. Add a few drops of rubbing alcohol and press it down. Cover the eyeshadow. I show my secret makeup holder to my friend. Suddenly, Miss Smith sneaks up and blows into the eyeshadow. We'll have to clean the desk for removing the makeup. Miss Smith's dreaming of being a schoolgirl. In her dream, she comes to her friends, bringing her makeup treasures. We'll need an empty, clean paint container. Put an eyeshadow from a broken palette. Besides, she's got a notepad-shaped eyeshadow. Cover the edge of an old eyeshadow palette with white acrylic paint. Trace the palette twice to get two cardboard circles. Cut them out. Cover with scrapbook paper. Write notes on a piece of paper. Attach it on top. Glue the circles to the palette. Use a pen to draw strips across the white edge. Miss Smith puts all her DIY makeup on the desk. And I've got an awesome marker applicator. Cut the tip out of a marker that doesn't write anymore. Remove the wadding. Add hot glue. Attach an applicator. Take off the cap and apply eyeshadow on her lids or forehead or... What's going on? Where's this paper ball come from? What about my makeup? Oh, it's been just a dream. Hey you, stop making a mess. I offer my friend a bright lipstick in a correction fluid bottle instead of her pale gloss. Clean a bottle of dried out correction fluid using nail polish remover. Wipe the spout. Remove the wiper from a liquid lipstick container. Pour it into the correction fluid bottle. Cut off the applicator. Hot glue it on instead of the correction fluid brush. My friend applies the lipstick. It's much better. We managed to do our makeup so that the teacher didn't see it. But it turns out we are not out of the woods yet. Miss Smith has come holding wipes in her hands. This strict school security won't let us look beautiful. She wipes off all our makeup. Farewell to beauty arms. Miss Smith also knows a few beauty hacks. She sneaks a nail file into a teacher's room. Peel the filing coat off the file. Cut off the excess to fit the spine of a notebook. Attach it to the spine. Miss Smith finds our makeup. What a gift! She does her makeup to be the most beautiful tonight. The awesome green eyeshadow suits her fine. Get ready, PE teacher! The vamp is on her way! Do you think it's impossible to moisturize your lips or apply lip balm with your pen? Though it sounds weird, it's possible. Remove the plug from a pen. It's rounded top of yellow color. Fasten the refill with hot glue. Pour hot glue onto a piece of plastic. Submerge a pen with the same shaped plug in oil. Put it in the hot glue to make a mold. You can rotate the pen holding it upright. When the glue hardens, remove the pen. Cut out a piece of lip balm. Melt it, adding yellow pigment or eyeshadow. Pour it in the glue mold. Carefully remove when cool. Pour a little of the melted balm into the pen. Attach the new plug. The pen looks exactly like it used to. The difference is a lip care feature. You can use your pen now to moisturize your lips. If you add the color of your favorite lipstick, you'll be able to apply tone on your lips. Does your friend need a pen? I look for it in my makeup bag. Aha! Here it is! It's not a plain pen, but a lip balm topped one. It can both write as a pen and care for my lips as lip balm. My friend is astonished. She's never seen such an awesome thing. Don't forget to subscribe. Feel free to comment. Give your thumbs up and click the bell. Watch our new videos together with your friends.